legislative session wrapped up early in Indianapolis this year. A session that usually doesn't end until the 15th of March was let out one week early. However, as News Channel 18's Elizabeth Rentschler reports, several legislators say the session was still a successful one. The three-month legislative session came to a close last week in Indianapolis, a session that included several controversial bills such as right to work and the smoking ban. Certain people have very strong feelings about those issues. So to get through the session and still uh, have friendships is a very important thing in the state of Indiana. Democratic State Representative Sheila Klinker says she felt she accomplished a lot, especially when it came to House Bill 1376, which gave $5 million more million to help victims of last year's state fair stage collapse and $80 million to fund all-day kindergarten for a year. Clinker, along with Tippecanoe County Judge Loretta Rush, also focused on the Department of Child Services, bringing local control back into the counties. But Clinker says the smoking ban was a big deal this session. It is the first time that Senator Alting could get a smoking ban bill through. And it received 28 votes, and I, I think he was happy to get through the process. Indiana State Senator Ron Alting says he did feel proud to be able to add an amendment to the smoking ban bill. The bill originally said that a legion could not allow anyone under the age of 18 inside, even in the non-smoking areas. Alting's amendment changed that, something Alting says will help not only local businesses, but help bring families together. The family uniting and dancing and acting silly on the dance floor and so on and so on. And that would have been part of our culture that would have been eliminated in a non-smoking area if not for that amendment. Alting also successfully authored a bill signed into a law to remove spice and bath salts from stores, as well as a bill that will save taxpayers money when filing for a marriage license. He says now people can do so electronically, which is not only more time efficient, but cost efficient. Elizabeth Rentschler, News Channel 18.